Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. I know I'm a day late, but there's some things that have been going on uh, in day-to-day -day life that uh, put this off just a little bit. Uh, this vlog is only going to be focused on uh, just speaking about John Abercrombie for a moment. Uh, you know, I never met John Abercrombie. I never got to see him play live, unfortunately. But I remember that when I was in grad school, I discovered John Abercrombie um, in a much more thorough way than what I had known of him before in the sense of listening to his recordings and studying his style. I never did do any transcriptions of his work, but I always felt that his approach to improvisation was just much more different than those players that I was hearing uh, at that time, uh, the, the players that I was listening to at that moment. I, I was listening uh, to a lot of bebop players as I entered into grad school, and as grad school finished, I got into more of the players such as Ben Monder, uh, Jonathan Kreisberg, Adam Rogers, uh, etc. And John Abercrombie was one of those that I continued to go back to and listen to, and I was very surprised because I had this idea, at least to me, what I thought jazz was. And when I listened to the recordings that he did, um, the uh, Gateway uh, recordings, uh, I was, you know, to hear someone with the distortion, uh, which I knew other guys were, were doing it, but to hear the way that he was approaching the tunes, to listen how the harmonic context of the tunes, it wasn't chord, 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 like constant chords. I noticed in his playing that he wasn't running changes. He was able to melodically create lines um, that worked over a series of chord progressions. Uh, upon much um, more investigation of, of who he was and his playing style, uh, through videos that I had, had discovered, um, I became very influenced by his approach to uh, going through a tune and basically navigating those changes which influenced my educational style that I use with my students and the way that I teach improvisation. Um, I've seen so many great things uh, in, in dedication to him and what he has done for the jazz world. I wish that I would have been able to see him in person uh, to be able to see uh, him perform live, to be able to speak to him. Unfortunately um, I was not able to and unfortunately, it's another great that has been lost in the jazz world. Uh, like I have said though, uh, in some of the posts that I've made up through social media, is that um, even though he is gone, his legacy is very, very strong. And I continue to be influenced by his playing, his compositional style, and, and just the overall mood that he set forth in his plane. Thanks for watching guys and uh, stay tuned for more vlogs and more Technique Tuesday videos.